Have you guys? Oh, thanks, guys. Have you guys heard those pieces before? Who is the composer? Bob. Yes! Yes. That was, that was Johann Sebastian Bach. Every single classical musician has studied Bach. You rarely go to a concert, a competition, or even an audition without Bach. And there's a reason why. You see, Bach was able to tap into deep human emotions, even those we can't articulate. He was kind of like the 18th century version of Bob Dylan. His aim was to create average music for the average person. But during the process, because he did so well, he became the superstar we know and love today. Bach was a musician of the people. Not many people realize Bach had over 20 children. He's a really busy guy. <laughs> in his early life, Bach was orphaned at the age of 10, and he lived with sibling from place to place, pretty much couch surfing. Lucky for us, he learned many ways to share his music. He, of course, composed. He was an incredible violinist. He sang. He sang with boys' choirs, and he was an excellent organist. He was a humble guy, and we can hear his humble beginnings in his music. Now, so many people misunderstand classical music and assume this music is just for the elite. And so my challenge for you is this. The next time you go to a classical music concert, listen for evidence that Bach is speaking for every man. Although he had to present to royalty to make a living, you can hear in his music that he's someone that we can all relate to in one way or another. So this is how I imagine Bach portrayed the sound of a choir and the sound of an organ with a violin. First, we begin with two voices singing a duet. Another voice. This excerpt I just played for you is from a piece called the Chaconne. Remember that word, Chaconne, because we're going to come back to it in a little bit. So out of my love and respect for Bach and my recognition that he is timeless, I want you guys, the whole TED audience, the whole TED community, the whole world, to enjoy him just as it was intended for everyone. Because right now, it's mostly only classical musicians that truly get to journey to his music. And I feel like that's a big shame. Now let me ask you a question. How many of you have gone to the Louvre and have sought out the Mona Lisa because you know some of the background story, some context? Maybe you know about da Vinci, and therefore you seek out that museum and you seek out that painting. And when you're finally standing right in front of the Mona Lisa, you feel that thrill of connecting, of empathizing to that painting in a deeper way. My hope is that after knowing a little bit more about Bach and his music and why he's considered a genius the father of the classical music world, you will also feel that thrill. Now going back to the Chaconne, what is the Chaconne? Okay, real quick, I'm gonna just nerd out. This is super classical music, nerd, whatever. A Chaconne is a short, repeated harmonic progression, often with a repetitive bass line. This offers an opportunity for variations to be created above the ongoing bass line. Okay, like X, Y, Z, what does that mean? Like, okay, I got you. So the Chaconne begins like this.
The bass line is this. Above this ongoing bass line, Bach creates these organ-like chords, and thus we have the beginning. follow the bass line. Now the bass line is repeated in many different ways with many different variations. I'm going to do another part and what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to play the variation while singing the bass line. Now I'm not a singer so it might sound crazy. <laughs> As you can see, it's a different ongoing bass line with totally different chords on top. It's really cool. Now I want to do one more part, but I need all of your help. I need all of us to stand up. Yeah! <laughs> Energy! We're almost done. Okay, cool. So I need, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to all sing together four notes, okay? Four notes. And we're going to keep repeating these four notes. And I want these beautiful angelic voices to come out of your bodies. <laughs> so okay, I'm going to start. And then I'll cue you guys to join in, and then we just keep repeating them, okay? One, ready. That was dope. So we just created the Chacon together. Guys, I, guys, let Bach be your Mona Lisa. I want Bach to be that composer that you can relate to, that you can understand, so that you can say, oh, I know this guy. I know his music. Then over time, you will have a stronger connection to classical music, because that's my goal. I want the whole world to understand and love classical music. Now I'm going to end our wonderful time here together with the climax in the Chacon. There is no right or wrong way to feel this music. There aren't any lyrics, you write your own. There's no story, you create your own. Let your mind go free and your heart go wild. Thanks, guys. <laughs>